vines. Yeah. Bass starts out with yeah, sort of a standard bass line, not too memorable, but then after like a couple verses, it picks up with some out strumming, and then the pattern really picks up after the out strumming is done. I really should get this song. This is this is pretty great. I give it an 8 out of 10. Out of the way is probably the best out of pack out of the pack for the drums. It gets really good uh, towards the end. Tons of great fills. Even though really simple, still pretty fun. I give it a 8 out of 10. Probably my favorite out of the pack. Mostly talkies, but had some fun parts like Don't get out of the way! Overall, it's the best song out of the pack. And the best Vine song. I give it a 10 out of 10. Out of the Way by the Vines. That's actually a pretty cool song. I love the Vines. And uh, Matter 10, it's a really good one. Uh, Dimension by Wolf Mother. I thought the fills were really fun, plus just it changes it a lot, which I like when stuff changes. Uh, I like the jump chart. Some very good stuff, even though it is very easy. I still like it. I give it a. 7 out of 10. I love Wolf Mother. It's not the most interesting bass charge. It's just standard pattern. Although I have to give it props for being more interesting than the guitar chart, which has all those sustains. I give it a 6 out of 10. Pretty good song. I like the part where it goes, <laughs> That's pretty much it. 6 out of 10. I really enjoy Wolf Mother. I mean, Wolf Mother is awesome. Okay, I give this song a 6 out of 10 on guitar. It's actually very really boring, unlike all Wolf Mother songs. And I'm still waiting for 10,000 feet. Tomorrow, it's actually a pretty good song with the sustaining notes. I make it really fun to play. Um, I give this one a 7 out of 10. Uh, I really like Silver Chair. I hope we get some more songs like Ant Song. Pretty fun, pretty easy. I give it an 8 out of 10. Probably the most lackluster on bass of the entire pack. I mean, it's your standard bass line. There's some movement in there, uh, but overall, it's probably not worth the purchase. If you're a bassist, you probably want to buy it if you're a, a vocalist or a big fan of Silver Chair. I give it a 5 out of 10. Well, tomorrow was very good on drums. It might have been really kind of some simple stuff, but just the repetition and the simplicity of it is just great. The double kicks can get annoying, but overall I like it. I give it a 7 out of 10. I give the Australian pack from Guitar Hero World Tour a 6.5 out of 10. I mean, not really much worth paying for, except for Out of the Way. Out of the whole entire pack, I give it a uh, 8 out of 10. This pack overall gets um, it's a 7 out of 10 on guitar, but I really think this is a pack for drummers. I, I really hope we see more Wolf Mother and Divine's those freaking lazy ass Linux guys that wouldn't give a DLC with 